Hello and, and welcome everybody into the next part of our Halloween folio creation. I hope you all got downloaded all those free printables. If you didn't download it yet, please go to have a look to the description box below. There is a link where you can find all these uh, Halloween background papers and also the circles, decorative circles for Halloween. They are uh, for free, so I hope you will enjoy them. And I'm going to continue with this Halloween folio. I hope you will enjoy this part. And we're going to continue when we left in the previous part. I do have cut those basics <clears throat> here on the top. I'm gonna grab some off cuts again, and it will be probably again this one, or I can take with these letters. I'm gonna do two pockets horizontally because this is quite wide so this part is four and three quarter i'm gonna cut the strips four and one quarter by one inch I do have two strips. I'm going to cut the corners uh, with this corner punch. A little bit of black ink all around. And again, I'm going to glue it on this decorative paper and cut the slot kind of in the middle. So there will be visible also the words around. So one can be here. And one can be a little bit under. So first I'm gonna glue them. So I'm gonna glue my strips to the paper. And I'm gonna kind of try to be on both sides evenly. And also I'm gonna grab my ruler. And with the ruler I'm gonna check if I do have the right direction on both of them. So it's... It's on the right spot. This. This way. And now the second one. And again, I'm going to measure. Good. <clears throat> so I do have glued these. I'm going to grab my knife. And I'm gonna cut the slot right under those words. here and here so I do have slot right there and I'm gonna create second in that bottom one I'm gonna take one of these uh, photo mats and I'm gonna glue it over the edge right here And I can glue my <coughs> paper 
on that file folder so here because I will need to have pockets from here for some tag here and here and I don't want to get this tag together with this tag so I'm gonna be po putting glue on all this top spot right here then on both sides and bottom and also to make a stopper for this top top tack i'm gonna put the glue here on this spot to separate this entry from that entry so on this spot which means right above this this slot so on all this top both sides on the bottom and now right here about this slot and I can glue my paper to that file folder take a bone folder and press everything nicely so I will have pocket here and I will have pocket here and from this pocket I can go far than this there is that glue right here in this spot on that opposite side I do have prepared this like background paper <clears throat> and because it's quite busy I would like to create a kind of like window so I'm gonna cut the frame in this paper so I do have my frame uh, cut out and I do have here piece of acetate and I'm because uh, you know it's Halloween I need to have that acetate a little bit more grungy so I do have on my distress tool or this sponge tool I do have alcohol ink which is perfect for coloring these acetate sheets and I'm using brownie alcohol ink from Octopus brand it's perfect it does have a really nice color and they do sell in large bottles which is perfect for me I don't feel guilty when I'm using it so this is brownie uh, from octopus i found it on amazon i do have also caramel which is also brilliant it's a little bit lighter color that brownie it's beautiful dark something like a vintage photo if you know distress ink vintage photo so this has a really beautiful tone so i'm gonna glue my frame on that acetate sheet and i will also use sewing machine and do some sewing to like more uh, more decoration so I do have my sewing and because I do love uh, metal pieces on my projects I'm gonna get my uh, crocodile punch two holes in that frame and fix their eyelets it's just decorative uh, element it doesn't have any reason I just like the look of the metal so I'm gonna fix that those eyelets and I am ready to glue the frame on my page but it's kind of plain in the background so I'm gonna grab some stamps I do have my stamping done uh, I already placed double-sided tape here on the side where there is that acetate piece that will be here close to that fold and on the top and on the bottom I'm gonna add normal glue and glue my window pocket so I do have my uh, window glued on that page I do have that that stamping and here it's quite plain right so for that I'm gonna start to use uh, my 
focal point and I do have it in the size of my envelope this one it can be placed this way and it will be exactly as that envelope or it can be placed this way and then the part of that picture will be a little bit off the envelope so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually uh, use that shape to create another pocket I reinforced the envelope with the book page I just slide it piece of book page inside and glue it together to make sure that it will be strong enough and I'm gonna glue this flap right here so I'm gonna apply the glue and slide it there and to make a nice position and glue my flap so here I will have extra pocket and now my focal point I can glue it up and put the glue on these three sides so then I will have a pocket from the top and I can add there some tack or something or I can glue it this way which I like more <coughs> So I'm going to put the glue not on the bottom, but on the top and both sides. And not exactly to the edges here on the bottom. Because that will be peeking out a little bit. Here and here. That's exactly. So I'm going to kind of use that uh, size of the envelope to create the frame around my focal point, around this card. Once it's dry, I can put some tack right here on the bottom. And I do have here these tacks with that metal... Uh, metal circle here and I think it will be really beautiful decoration I just will need to distress it but if I will slide it there I can have kind of like extra decoration on my page I'm gonna have a look to my Halloween pocket I do have here so many of these stamped uh, quotes I did use uh, Tim Holtz stamps, uh, Halloween, uh, those, um, what is it, snippets, I'm not sure how, how, how is the right word. And these quotes I can put as kind of like decoration on the tabs so I do have done Ish, I do have that, that path. I do have done uh, those two extra pages. Now I'm gonna grab all what I have prepared for my uh, folio. I do have here that spine, envelopes, all these four file folders. Uh, I put them in the kind of like order that the top, top tab, then one under it, under it, and that last bottom tab. And in this position, I'm going to place these uh, file folders on my on the spine here, I, which I have created. I do have there those score lines, which will help me to put those uh, file folders in the right position. So I'm going to start straight away. I'm going to put the glue. And I'm gonna glue my file folder not on the first spot, but on this second one here. On that second spot, I'm gonna put my my first file folder. So there will be one quarter of inch gap between top uh, front cover and first page. 
and when um, I will be gluing my file folders to that spine, I'm gonna watch these sides if they are kind of like nicely continuing with that file folder. Do not make it, uh, you know, in the wrong position. So for this, I'm gonna be using also a bone folder to press the spine here. And fold it over and press it from here. I'm gonna take second one, put a glue on that not uh, on that second from this from this folder, so on that second spot. And again, the page with tap is going first. I'm gonna fold the spine of this down. And now I can place my file folder right here. And press, open that file folder, press the spine to make sure that glue will get spread everywhere and will get glued nicely. I'm gonna fold this one and press. And again I'm gonna grab glue, put the glue on the second spot from this folder. Grab my third folder, again fold the spine down. And I'm gonna glue this right here. Open it. Here you can check if you do have your pages in the right position. Press it here, fold this one, and press it here. And my last one again on the second spot. So we will have one quarter of inch between front cover and first page and one quarter of inch between last page and back cover. There will be gaps. And again I'm gonna Fold the spine down and place the folder right there. Open it, press again. And I'm gonna go this way to check if I don't have somewhere some wrong gluing which doesn't belong there. So I do have base done. As you can see there are always one quarter of inch gaps. <clears throat> now I'm gonna grab my envelopes and on these large pages with the tab I'm gonna glue these large uh, large envelopes with the pocket when the pocket uh, when the pocket for oh, sorry when the flap is going 
on the back and the pocket of the envelope it, it will be at the front uh, first I'm gonna reinforce all my envelopes with the book pages so I do have reinforced all these envelopes and before I will glue them to my book block this one uh, I'm gonna make simple pockets and extra pockets so here I do have this scrap I'm gonna slide it in and create kind of like a decoration from that paper so I'm gonna draw the pattern here And I'm gonna cut the pattern, not exactly, I'm gonna cut next to it. And I'm gonna be using this right here. And just glue it down so I will have nice border all around. And I forgot to stress the edges. It's always looking much, much better if you do have distress edges it looks finished so I'm gonna quickly add the black ink on these edges and now I can glue it down and on that rest I'm gonna grab some different pattern what I would like to have there not adverts, adverts I will use for decorating, but maybe these buds. Maybe these buds could be great. And this one I can actually glue <clears throat> on the flap if I will want. So maybe I will do that. So that this this strip it does have quite similar pattern. I just need to Cut the edges here. Yes. Yes, good. So this strip I'm gonna go right here. This time I'm gonna <laughs> Add this dressing first. I will have closure with this side and from the <clears throat> this pattern with those buds I'm gonna create extra pockets so I'm gonna cut that cardstock this is nine inches so I'm gonna cut card that card in 10 inches and I will do half and half inch score line 10 is here so 10 inches on this measurement here I'm gonna cut that white strip And 
here I will need four inches so I'm gonna count half inch here for the folding as well so four and a half okay that I need to cut with my ruler so I'm gonna draw a line four and a half four and a half four and half and cut and I'm gonna score three sides half inch <clears throat> so here on this piece I'm gonna score top bottom and this side half inch so one side other. And here half inch I'm gonna cut these corners and here kind of like angle on that on that score sc scored part I'm gonna fold all of these distress the edges And I would like to have this one um, <clears throat> as double pocket, so I'm gonna also fold it on half, so I know where the middle is and where I should put a glue. So I will have double pocket. I'm gonna distress the edges. Here I'm gonna add also distressed line. So I do have uh, separated those two pockets i'm gonna grab my sewing machine at the sewing effect sewing decoration so i do have there my sewing i'm gonna fold this half inch score line here i don't need those threads i'm gonna add there a glue and just glue it down And from this paper, I'm gonna cut the strip which I will glue here, and I'm gonna cut it in the size half inch. So I do have strip for this top flap. Uh, that top flap has uh, kind of those sides in the angle, so I need to copy the angle. Therefore, I'm gonna. Add my paper right here, hold it down and cut the angle here and do same with that bottom one. Place the paper here and cut the angle. Now I can distress it and glue it right there. So like this and I do have nice closure and uh, if I will add there the tags oh I forgot to put that <laughs> look at me I forgot to put the glue in that middle part so I'm gonna <laughs> add it there right now uh -huh. right in the middle I totally forgot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna glue it one more time. And when I will put the tabs, uh, tacks in those pockets, those tacks can hold the closure of my envelope. So now I can take my book block and glue this envelope right here. I can also put some decorative paper on that top, but I would like to use those quotes and some words, so I'm gonna keep it clean for now. And later I will have a look to my stuff and add there some snippets or so. And I'm gonna create another pocket behind this envelope, so I'm putting the glue only on three sides, on top, bottom, 
and the side which is close to that spine of my book block. And press it down. Gonna flip it over. <clears throat> and here I would like to add uh, some decorative paper on all that uh, page. So I'm gonna grab this paper. I'm gonna place this decorative paper right to that uh, fold here or glued spot there and I'm gonna draw the pattern of my paper I'm gonna draw the pattern of that file folder with the tab And now I can cut that pattern. I'm gonna cut inside of my drawing again about one eighth of inch inside of that drawing. Gonna check the size, and here I see I can cut a little bit here on this side. And now it will be time to use my uh, mats, those photo mats. Uh, one can go here and also the envelopes uh, with those focal points. So I'm gonna grab one of these large focal points and I'm gonna grab one of these large envelopes. And I will just try how it will look like. Oh, this way. So this belongs right here and if I will glue it maybe here, the way that the white paper will be visible all around and I will like it. So when I will open this one, this can make a, like a tuck spot, you know, to put something behind. So I'm gonna distress all this piece, maybe add their sewing effect and glue first glue this mat around the edge and then glue the envelope together with my focal point on that spot over there so i do have here prepared papers for the next page and uh, i'm gonna show you how i did cut it i uh, draw always the outline of the shape of my page when there was the tap uh, so i do have this piece on full page and i use this uh, striped halloween paper for inside to kind of go nicely with this shabby chic newspaper i choose this spider web uh, paper and i did cut it one quarter of inch smaller so i can fit to that page and for here I had off cut from this paper 
uh, this strip I had off cut so I draw the shape on that off cut of this tab here so I will have kind of like continuing pattern here on the end and to make sure I do have that <laughs> something here I did cut this striped paper because I would like to add this striped paper also in the background here as decoration to kind of put there a little bit of Halloween colors to kind of match it all together when it's open I would like to get this striped paper here as well so that's why it will be here and there is a small gap between this paper and this tab and I left it there on purpose I'm gonna take black ink I'm gonna put this on the spot where I will glue it later draw a line on the end and I'm gonna distress with the black ink this spot right next to that line so I will have also kind of like blackish background between this and this so there will be continuing same color I can make this one as another pocket from here <clears throat> so because of that I'm gonna use again that crisscross stitching because it's reinforcing all that paper I'm not gonna do stitching on these two so I can glue them down straight away uh, here before I will glue, glue this down here will be this one like this and on this fold I'm gonna add uh, another of my envelopes this small envelope with one of these uh, decorative cards that decorative card is in exactly same size uh, not exactly it's in the size of, <laughs> of that envelope just one quarter of inch smaller so I do have beautiful frame all around from the envelope I'm gonna glue the card first and I'm gonna glue it the way where the it will be like top loaded pocket as well so use any kind of spaces to make pockets I like to make pockets everywhere because then we can add there so many things so I'm gonna glue this on my envelope and let it dry so here will be this one kind of like probably this way and it will get open that way and I would like to have this photomat <clears throat> again uh, in kind of like cascade style so I'm gonna glue first that photomat around my decorative paper Fold it over like this. Now I can glue it on my <clears throat> into my file folder. So I'm gonna add the glue on all that space. And glue it right here. Now this will be here I'm gonna grab this one and glue it right here and 
and <clears throat> now my extra piece and go it right here so it will get open this way and my larger pocket I'm gonna glue right here So I do have basic panels done and I can move to another page. I hope you did enjoy this part of Halloween folio creation. Thank you so, so much for visiting me today. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you do like this video, please share that uh, with your friends on your social medias. Help me to grow this channel. It will be so much appreci appreciated on my end. And I will be very, very thankful for that. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself. And I will see you soon. Bye.